Henry Domerkant is universally known as one of the best shooters in Europe. Over six EuroLeague seasons, he has averaged more than 43% from three-pointers. He reached his best in the 2011-12 season when he played for Onyx Kazan. As well as reaching the playoffs against Barcelona, he scored 15.5 points and he was named in the All Euroleague second team. It was a, a great individual accomplishment. It really meant a lot to me uh, to know that uh, the people all around basketball in Europe really appreciated what I did and, you know, uh, would give me such a great honor when there's so many players who deserved it. I was really grateful when I found out and I think as far as basketball goes, that's one of my, you know, for personally, that's one of my favorite and best awards. After college, he moved to Turkey in 2003. Then he played in many European countries. Last year, he returned to Turkey, signed by Galatasaray Liv Hospital Istanbul. But Henry remembers every city and club with the same feeling. Every country I've played in, everywhere I've been, and the players I've met, and the friendships I've made, and just the career I've had, I'm, I'm very grateful. All these EuroLeague experiences have revealed to him all the secrets of the competition. When I first played EuroLeague ball, I, I, I got to play with a lot of guys with experience. And so uh, I think that really helped my learning curve. But uh, my first impression, you know, I, I saw how big European basketball could be. Like almost all the American players, what really impressed Henry was the passion of the people. Everything that they give, I, I think it really helps you play. It makes you enjoy the game more. They bring something, energy to the atmosphere, and I feed off that, you know? So when that, I feel like it's electricity and I just plug in. When he was in Siena in January 2010, a terrible earthquake devastated his home country, Haiti. I was in Europe and I, I couldn't do much. We couldn't speak to my grandfather, I think, for maybe a week or two weeks, and his village was gone. I just wanted to make sure that my mother was doing okay, because she was, you know, from childhood friends and things like that. She was very shaken up. I mean, basketball was kind of like other, with other difficult times in my life, my escape in, in some respects. So, you know, I still enjoyed to play and being around my teammates, and that kind of took my mind away from all those type of things. 